Hello everyone, welcome back to Liberty City in GTA 3. Uh, last episode we did our kind of tour of Alderney here. Um, this episode we are going to get back to working on missions and actual doing actual gameplay. Although you could say that was as much gameplay as anything else being that, that it is an open world. It was the first, first game that really popularized open world and taught people what open worlds were really like and and brought it into the forefront and and very much changed gaming for that matter so we are down here at our oh, forgot to turn my controller on we are down here at our safe house down here in Alderney we are here at the projects as you can see right there looking at the, the the projects you run through that door to save and you come over this way I was gonna show y'all I've been doing vigilante missions as you see I've got five stars now we have to do I think two more vigilante missions and I've got two more fireman missions to catch up on and then we will have the 20 fireman missions on each island and we will see the reward for that along with that I'm gonna scroll through my weapons here you see, I don't have a huge numbers like what I used to have. Um, I have been busted twice, maybe even three times. Let's look at our stats right quick. How many times have we been busted? Haven't been doing, haven't been killed doing any of the missions, but I have been busted a couple of times. Um, it has been, yep, been busted twice. Um, thing is is that that police car up yonder I showed y'all last time the police car up there just above my head around in that area over on the other side of the bridge there where the police station is half the time it is locked so even you know I'm, I'm very rough on police cars when I'm doing the vigilante mission so even though I was be doing the missions oh look there police car right there ready for us I'd be doing the vigilante missions. Um, I'm very rough on the police cars, so they would get beat all to hell. They would get uh, they would get smeared about, um, exploded, and then I would go over and try to steal another one. And uh, it would usually, I'd say, 50/50 be locked. So when that would happen, I'd have to start shooting people until a police car showed up. And when a police car finally showed up, then I would be able to. Is this the way I'm wanting to go? I don't know. Yeah, I think this is the route up. Whenever a police car finally showed up, I would have to hijack the police car. And uh, once I tried to do it from the driver's side door, and uh, that wasn't very good. That didn't work out all that well at all. <laughs> so I have been busted a few times. But it's all in a good cause. It's all in the cause of getting the, the uh, vigilante missions done, which is what we're going to do now. I'm going to work on doing the last two vigilante missions and then I'm going to work on doing the work on doing the fire truck missions and I will show the end result on both of those. I will show the final final mission in each each time we finish up one of those. So I will be back with you in just a moment. We should be on our last police mission here. Whoa, God Almighty, and look what he's in. Look what he is in. Oh, my God. Oh! Wow, and we got a rating. Let's see, is that going to take us? I am so lucky he wrecked and jumped out there. Does that give us our 60 missions? Let's see, police rate, police missions. We've done, let's see, we are 51% complete, 72 mission attempts. 11 hospital visits. I didn't see how many, how many days have gone by. But we've had 437 millimeters of rain have fallen. Passengers 100 saved in an ambulance. Vigilante missions 53. Nope, we got to get to 60, don't we? I thought we were higher than that. All right. We are going to continue on. We've lost our little one-star rating. And I will see you again in a bit. Let's see. Oh. All right, let's get on over there. 
We're probably going to have to have a new uh, police car here shortly. See if I can catch up with this guy. I will see you again in just a bit. And that's how you do it, folks. Whoa! Including... Oh! Wow. And that's how you do it, including wrecking your police car. But we didn't quite do that, did we? All right. <laughs> At this point, I may go save up and repair my uh, police car and get the free uh, police repair. So we will see you in again in just a little bit whenever we are on our last, uh, our last attempt. I'll see you in just a few. Alright folks, we are after our last vigilante, or about to be. As soon as I lose this police rating here. There we go. Let's hope. There we go. There you are! Boom! No, oh, don't. I hate these down here because they always head straight for the damn tunnel. Yeah, that's like he's doing. Let's see if we can go get him. Oh, I hate these. Most of the time I just have to let them go and I end up... Most of the time I just end up letting them go and I have to... Uh, you know, worry about uh, going and getting another one later. Let's see if I can get this dude. I got him. He must have got out of his car. Damn. Whoa. Let's get out of the way. Get out of the way. I was going to stop and get his weapon. Because he was carrying a, a flamethrower. But screw that. And there's my wife calling. I'll be right back. Alright. Yeah. I was going to run up there and get that flamethrower. This is... There are two good things. Oh. Okay. It's still there. Hang on. Hang... Ah. I just saw it disappear. It was rotating in purple and then disappeared. Damn it. There are two good things about doing these. I'm going to go ahead and cut that off. I don't need to do any more vigilante missions. I hate the ones. The ones at the airport, at least 75-80% of them I have found hit these tunnels. And most of them I just have to let go because I just cannot get them. Most of them don't turn right there. Most of them just keep right on going, heading to Stompton Island. And the last one was in a damn Humvee, damn, damn Patriot. And there was just no way to catch the blasted thing. But, I was going to say, there, there's several things. This isn't really a grind. I mean, yeah, it's taken me several days to do it, do these 20 missions. But unlike the ambulance, you don't have to do them in a row. Um, you know, I can do them at any speed and any order, so I don't have to do them in a row. Um, you are able to... That's the other thing. Um, they're a great way of picking up weapons. As every villain, every one of the criminals that you do the vigilante missions on is carrying a weapon. And like that one, you saw he's a flamethrower. Um, I had actually picked up two or three rocket launchers, too. Um, they have a, The people with the rocket launchers have a terrible habit of blowing themselves up with it. Um, Two of them, two of the ones of rocket launchers, I managed to win the vigilante mission because they immediately hopped out of their car and blew themselves up with their uh, with their rocket launcher. So it was like, okay, that was good, and I grabbed the rocket launchers. But then whenever that was one of my pre-busted episodes or pre-wasted episodes, I've been wasted once doing this too, and uh, that that didn't help so I lost the rocket launchers oh god don't blow up my police car here let me see I'm gonna save this one up down there in the in my space just because I've got room for three things and you never know when you might need a police car so let's go ahead and save one up and put that and then the next time I see you first of all let's look over here Yep, there they are. Six police bribes. So I've got the full complement now. Very good. I said, it's good. 
you you get weapons if you want to stop and pick up the weapons the other part of it is it's just like i said about doing the ambulance uh the the uh taxi missions you get real good at learning the streets so i have a much better grip on on shoreside vale down here and which streets go where than i did beforehand so that has helped out a lot okay second part of learning the streets is i'm gonna go do the fireman now do the no <laughs> no i don't mean it like that i'm gonna go do the firefighter mission now and uh, i know mine team is gonna say something about that one i'm gonna go do the firefighter missions now and whenever i get that completed i will see y'all again all right everyone we have the fire truck here let us continue turning i don't want to pain in the butt to get it out of the airport here cochran dam area got us one minute to get to the cochran dam area and put that fire out so let's give it a try at least with this one we have the advantage of we can knock just about any damn thing out of our way it looks like it is Maybe actually down at the dam too. Let's keep going. Yeah, I could use my siren, but A, it's awful loud, and B, um, it it tends to make the traffic even more bizarrely driving. They they do all sorts of weird things when that happens. Let's see. Hmm, is it gonna be actually on the dam, I wonder? Nope. It's down below. It was down below. Alrighty. That one we are going to miss out on. So we might as well go ahead and end it. And let's start the other one. Wichita Gardens area. Oh, great. One minute to get over to Wichita Gardens. Thank you so much. Let's go across the bridge. And then we will try to get down there in time. It's been a few days, so I had to make sure I remembered which damn one of these was the one that fired the cannon. Handbrake! Handbrake! Oh! That one was not the handbrake. 24 seconds. See, this is what I'm talking about. This is the annoying thing on the fire truck, is you can't get going fast. And they sure as hell don't seem to give you very much time. I mean, really? 24 seconds to get down here. All the way down here. All right, 46 seconds. Let's see if we can get there in time. It's way over yonder. Oh, come on, come on. Quit getting hung up on shit. One thing you'll find if you do firefighter missions down here is they're usually in really... That's it. The whole, the whole situation with them being in really inconvenient locations, the way the city is laid out, it's got so much verticality to it, up and down, and all the twisty little roads that that you learn that if you just don't feel like you can get to it, make damn sure that you can. Uh... There we go. Awesome. That should, I think, be it. Let's look at our stats. And let's see where we are. We are, by the way, at 90 days. We have been in Liberty City here for three months in game. It is days past, 90 days. So three months, we've gotten all the way to Shoreside Vale. Let's see. And we have traveled 47 miles on foot, 526 miles in vehicles. Um... Fires extinguished 60. All right, that should be it. Let's cut that off. I am gonna try going back over to our safe house now. And let us take a look what they have there now. Since we've completed the 60 missions, 20 on each island, or 20 on each space, that's one thing that they do here, is that this is not an island. This is a... Uh, you can tell that it's an actual no we need to go up a level go up a level and go up a 
slight socioeconomic level to the better projects. How very trivially the better they are. Say slightly newer, shall we say. We're not gonna save this up. We're not gonna need a fire truck again. Unless we have a mission to do it. So let's hop out here. And where is our reward for this? There's our six police bribes. And we should have... Alright, there should be a reward for getting the fire truck missions done. Where will it be stored? Where will it be stored? That's the heart from the ambulances. Okay. I am going to have to maybe go take a look at the wiki and find out... Make sure that it's the 60 and where the heck that those, uh, where the heck they put your reward for it. Make sure it's not in the garage. Put a reward or am I just fireproof now? <laughs> I'll have to see. I'll be right back. Alright, we're trying an experiment here. I'm going to do a couple more missions just to see. If maybe it's a case of, oh, damn, quit getting hung on shit. That's it. It, is a, it can be a pain doing firefighter missions up here. You just keep picking them, keep choosing them until you get ones that are close enough that you think you can actually do. I have turned this one on and off several times now to try and try and get an actual completable one. You know, wasn't on the other side of the world and gave me 30 seconds to get to it. Hello? There we go. Flamethrower delivered to hideout. Okay, that's what we were looking for. That is exactly what we were looking for. All right, apparently, looking at stuff, it turns out that I must have... Um, are we heading to the Cochrane Bridge? No, we're headed back to town. Okay. Up for a second there, we were heading to the bridge. We must have done more than 20 at some location on one of the two islands. One of the two islands, either Portland or Staunton, we must have done 21... Um, firefighter missions and not recognized it because we definitely had to do a, an extra one here so and we were sitting on 59 I'll guarantee you we're on 61 now let's take a look to be sure where's our stats all right we passed 52 of 73 attempts at missions we still gotta do jumps still gotta do Rampages, we got 45 of the uh, things, 90 days, 45 uh, hidden packages, 442 millimeters of rain. All right, it should be coming up here. Yep, 61 total fires. So we had to put out, <coughs> had to put out 61 fires. Here, let's turn that off. I don't want to sit there and hear it clicking down at us. Okay. That wasn't too bad. Yeah, one of the islands we must have done 21 by mistake. Knowing how much I enjoy doing this. <laughs> it really isn't bad. It really hasn't been much of a pain at all until here. This is the first one. I mean, you see what the roads are like. You, know, you saw the twisty, curvy, up and down, hilly nature of them back whenever I did our little tour. And it's just a pain. It can be a pain in the butt if you're, you know, down here at Wichita Gardens and you get a one that says, you know, fire at St. Francis Airport, like wherever we were, and it gives you a minute and a half to get there. And it's like, no, it just ain't going to happen. That just is not going to happen at all. But let's see what we have. It has been well worth it because that is how you end up with one of these. Hop out, run on over, and there it is in all its purple glory, the flamethrower. Let's go ahead and pick that up. Awesome. Should be the last weapon we have. Yep. 200 shots. Nice. Very nice. I'm going to gather up all these, and I'm going to save it up so we don't have to do that again. 
There's our six spinning things. We have all of this at all three of our safe houses now. So we will save up. Boom, 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 boom. Okay. I'm going to go take a look, put all this footage in the editor, see where we are, and I think we got enough time to possibly do a short mission. So I will probably see y'all again. Let's get some more flamethrower. There we go. I will probably see y'all again in just a second here.